Good evening. The company which makes ejection seats used when Red Arrows pilot Sean Cunningham died in 2011 put many pilots at risk over many years. That's the claim of the prosecution at Lincoln Crown Court, where the seat manufacturer, Martin Baker, is being sentenced following the death of Mr Cunningham in November 2011. He died when his ejection seat went off while his aircraft was still on the runway and his parachute failed to open. Our reporter Gemma Dawson has spent the day at Lincoln Crown Court. What has the prosecution been saying today? Well, Peter, the prosecution has opened the case today against Martin Baker, saying that this was not an isolated failure by the ejection seat manufacturer. And in fact, the company had put many pilots at risk over many years. And that's because after the company pleaded guilty three weeks ago, they issued a statement saying this was an isolated failure relating to the tightening of a nut during maintenance procedures. But the prosecution argue that that is not an accurate description. Being wheeled into court this morning, an ejection seat used during today's hearing to describe what should happen during a normal ejection compared to what happened when the seat went off on the ground in the case of Flight Lieutenant Sean Cunningham. He died in 2011 after being ejected from his Red Arrows jet. The ejection seat unintentionally triggered during his routine pre-flight checks at RAF Scampton. His parachute, attached to his seat, then failed to deploy, meaning Sean crashed back to the ground. Four years ago, an inquest heard this crucial nut and bolt had been over-tightened on his ejection seat, stopping the parachute from working properly. Three weeks ago, the manufacturers of that ejection seat, Martin Baker, pleaded guilty to a breach of health and safety legislation. This morning, Sean's family arrived back at Lincoln Crown Court for the start of the sentencing hearing. Prosecutor Rex Ted QC described how it was Sean's dream to become a Red Arrows pilot. The court then heard Sean's two biggest fears in life were being ejected from an aircraft and the injuries that would be sustained and dying at a young age. Tragically, he experienced both. The judge then turned to the family and described Sean as a remarkable young man. Well, this afternoon, the prosecution argued that Martin Baker had been alerted to the potential problem with its ejection seat more than 20 years before Sean's death. They claimed that some customers' maintenance manuals had been amended, but that they said that the risk had been watered down and the warning had not been given universally. Well, tomorrow, the defence is expected to outline its case before the judge delivers her sentence, but we don't know yet exactly when that will take place. Gemma, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Gemma Dawson there in uh, Lincoln.